Okay, here we go. Now, I got the little uh, dead cat, and we're going through a little neighborhood. It looks really pretty here. A little garden here. We've got the kumquats. Kumquats, that's what it's called. Very pretty. We're playing baseball, it's nice. こっちの辺ですか駅は駅は反対ですねあの二つあのおのおの町そうそうそうまっすぐまっすぐでございますあの、ビューティフルフラワーですねゴージャスフラワーですねそうあ、I went to the cat, the dead cat here, it's a tiny roads, pretty busy and I'm looking for Onomachi or something, Eki, which I've never been to but I thought I would go to a different Eki, a different station really pretty flowers here though even the thin ones here look at that so, uh, I did have some questions that someone wanted me to answer and even though I have no alcohol on me I might try that as I walk through this little neighborhood for fun, right? A lot of construction here. Let's go down to the beach. Why not? Taking some time. Hmm. Another camera. Let's see what's going on here. I'm gonna look at the question. Look at the questions that someone sent me a while ago. Uh, let me see here. So this is from Tim. There's a train coming by. And we're, well, just to remind you, we're, at the, we're near the beach somewhere. I don't really know exactly where I am, but I thought I would walk around a little neighborhood, although it's freezing as hell. Not that, it's not that cold, but it's cold. So the first question is, not such a stupid question, just a strange question, but he asked about Lincoln Park, and I'll put these uh, somewhere where you can you can read the questions in the description or in the comment section. He says, "Okay, not sure if you follow Lincoln Park or not, but one of the biggest rock bands of our generation, Chester Bennington, the lead singer, had a net worth of thirty million dollars, two million dollar house, wife, six kids, and a large amount of friends. And one of his friends from South Garden, a rock band, committed suicide. Chester cared about this guy more than life. He built for himself because a few months later, Chester committed suicide by hanging. Was this the most selfish thing you've ever heard of?" I mean, if you had, if I had Lincoln Park, I would retire cheerfully at 50. Oh, now we're at a dead end. Great. Well, that didn't get anywhere. Um, something that I know a lot of people don't like, and not a very popular uh, opinion about suicide, is that it's selfish. Uh, I think, <laughs> and I've told this story before, but my high school girlfriend's father committed suicide when she was. I believe very very young a toddler maybe three and he apparently left messages all over the house uh blaming oh there's a some something up there what is that oh drying fish oh look at that the drying fish up there he left messages all around the house blaming her saying it's your fault bitch i killed myself because of you so that's uh i always thought that was Kind of cool, <laughs> really fucked up way, but mostly fucked up. Um, but anyway, she, um, as a high schooler, I always thought, you know, high school kids, we always think about suicide. It's kind of a thing we think about. But. And she said, uh, I told my girlfriend, I said, you know, yeah, you know, sometimes I think about committing suicide. She said, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Suicide is just so selfish. Um, and uh, I guess I kind of thought that for a long time. Suicide is selfish. And on YouTube, when I've said that before, people have pointed out that that is a really, uh, I don't want to say politically incorrect, but I guess kind of a naive thing to say. Or It's, it's, it's wrong. It's not, it's not selfish. They disagree with me. And uh, of course, there are, there are exceptions, I would say. If you're dying of some terrible disease, then, uh, and you're in pain all the time, I, you know, I'm all for euthanasia and all that, but just committing suicide because you're, 
depressed. Well, you know what they say, right? Uh, suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. But for some people, I understand the problem is not temporary and the, the pain they feel is so deep. But, you know, at the same time, if it's a mental pain, it's, it's kind of a... <laughs> how do I say this? I, I know people don't like this opinion, but if it's a mental pain, then it's not... It's almost like it's... It's, it's, it's not killing you, right? Isn't that pretty? It's not killing you. It's just a mental pain. And I got the seeds will come out. But you can get over it eventually. And you know, and here's the here's the bottom line. You're gonna die soon enough, okay? So why why hurry it along? Really? Is there any reason to hurry it along? I don't think so. It's a nice little yard, very simple, big space. You don't see that a lot. I just I just think suicide is kind of stupid, especially if you've got all that to live for. If you've got five, six kids and stuff. I mean, people stay divorced. People stay married for the kids. <laughs> At least you can do is stay alive for the kids, right? A little orange grove. You can stay alive for the kids, can't you? Six kids, man. Well, maybe they were all grown up. Who knows? So yeah, I do think. I still think uh, suicide is rather selfish in general, though. I guess it would go. It would go for a case by case. Uh, I would judge, you know, depending on the person's situation. Let's just go up one of these tiny streets, man. There's no way a car goes up here. Let's see what we find. So that's the first question. So yeah, okay. So it says, in your recent video on, on JBM, you said you guessed that you're a liberal. I don't know too many male liberals. Really? Anyway, feminism and liberalism seem to go hand in hand. If you don't believe me, look at Sasha Dake Games' interview. Look at this place. Of the typical female liberal in New York City. So how do you identify as a liberal besides hating Trump? Uh, first of all, that's that's weird. There's a lot of there are a lot of male liberals. Uh, maybe you don't know them because I don't know. Maybe you just hang out with a bunch of. I did. I, Tim Tim did send me some message saying the world is getting destroyed by feminism. But to be honest, uh, I think that being scared of feminism is the biggest snowflake thing in the world. Um, I'm I'm sexist, but I do my best not to be. Should we go in there and look? I can't, can't really go in there because I'm wearing nice shoes, but. I'd like to go in there and look. Look at that. Oops. Kind of cool. Can't really get closer though. It's all overgrown. But yeah. Anyway, my point being, uh, that's just ridiculous. Oh, I, I I'm not worried about feminists <laughs> taking over, destroying the world. That's my point, I guess. So, uh, and the fact that you don't know many liberals is doesn't mean anything except that you don't know many liberals who are, I mean, who are male, many male liberals. There are tons and tons of male liberals. This is really cool. Yeah, well, I'm liberal in that I, I think I don't care about people's sexuality. And if you want to be gay, that's fine. If, if you want to be transgender, whatever. I think people spend too much time worrying about shit like that. Uh, your, your bathroom in your house is unisex, so why shouldn't other bathrooms be unisex? I want to make all bathrooms unisex. So you have stalls on them. It's like people use the bathroom. You know, in Japan, you, you, you'll be taking a piss and an old woman will come in and, and uh, mop the floor while you're taking a piss. And nobody cares. Nobody bats an eye. Because it's, it's you know, being just because your, your genitalia is out doesn't mean it's a sexual situation. <laughs> Could mean you're just peeing, you know. The doctors see naked people all the time. It's not sexual. Oh, wow. Seishimasu. <laughs> Oh, he looked angry. Mm. Let's see. Where am I? Okay. Have you ever known anyone who committed suicide? That's number three. I think maybe this way. Uh, hi. Um, no, not really. Have I? I I'm sure I have, but... I guess no one really, no one really close to me. Luckily, luckily everyone I know has died of natural causes. I think. Yeah, yeah. Or car accidents and stuff. I've known people who tried and ended up in the hospital and shit. Uh, but um, what's down there? I have no idea where I'm going. Number four. There's a lot of abandoned property in Japan. Why don't you visit those places and see what you can salvage? What would I salvage? What would, I don't need anything. 
You know, I mean, it's, it's a good idea, and I actually understand those feelings of wanting to salvage shit. But where would I? Do, what would I do with it? <laughs> I'm not going to create a business on it. I've got other things to do. Oh, these are beautiful. Look at these. You know? Wow. These are gorgeous. Going to take a picture of this. Yeah, nice. Anyway. I don't want to scare people wandering up into their backyards. Yeah, so um, there there are a lot of cool things. If you had if you had time and um, resources, I suppose you could probably make a business doing that, salvaging stuff. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, number five. Have you ever have you been a whiskey guy since you turned twenty one, or did Japan make you want to drink whiskey? Um, I always thought that it was, this is kind of a shallow thing to say, but I always thought that real men drink whiskey, you know, real men drink whiskey. So I uh, started drinking whiskey. It was hard at first, you know, it's hard. Whiskey is some harsh stuff in the beginning, but it's like an acquired test and you know, I learned to like it. Uh, I don't think it happened when I was 21 though. Probably happened a bit, a little bit earlier and a little bit later too. Like I, I'm sure I tried it in New York City, but. I don't think I really started enjoying it until now. What you up? Now let's see, number six. If you and Tomoko weren't married, would you ever sleep together? <laughs> uh, I don't think so. Um, and why would why would being married stop anybody anyway? That's kind of a strange question. Um, no, I don't really see Tomoko as a s sexual being so much, or how do I say this? I don't identify her sexuality. You know, I don't recognize her sexuality. Oh, this, this is a nice little collection. She's a friend, and she's sexy, but she's not sexy to me. You know what I mean? Okay, um, here's a weird question though. Oh, look at that bamboo. Ah, oh, the sound of bamboo would be nice. Let's go over there, check that out. No idea where I am now. I'm, sure, I'm really sure I'm, I'm pretty lost. Probably getting farther and farther away from the station. That's okay, there's lots of, look at that, there's a castle over there, huh. Uh, oh, an old water pump. An empty field, nobody in it, and the sound of bamboo, the sound of wind going through bamboo is always nice. I'll shut up for a minute and let you enjoy one minute of bamboo. I think that's about a minute. Let's go see what this is. That's great when I have the time to when I have the time to kill an hour walking in a strange neighborhood. Oh, I'm, I'm glad I did this. I wasn't going to do this. But that is pretty. It's a nice tree. It looks like some kind of African tree you'd see in a movie with a. It should be like a a panther or a leopard hanging off the branch there. Now what is this place? Ogusa coin. Oh, this is on a map. Yeah, okay. That's good. I accidentally, yeah, look at that. I've stumbled onto Ogusa coin. Did not know that. Um, all right. And I'm still pretty far from Onomachi station, but that's all right. 
Oh, it's pretty. Probably has a toilet too. Maybe. Let's take a look. Nice, well kept flower garden. You don't see many of these in small parks like this. And it's got an old tree back here. I like this. If I were a kid, I would probably come here and hang out with my girlfriend. Some bamboo there. I like we just hang out there. Oh, look, you can tell some kids been here playing. I would hang out here. A good place to die too. Oh, going back on suicide, I can understand why someone would want to end it maybe a little bit later in life. Um, or do something with your last breath so you don't end up, you know, in a home or something. So if I, if I were shit in my pants, I suppose, I would try. Uh, let me see. This is going south. Oh. oh, you can go in. Look at that. I'm surprised. It's open. Oh wow, that is neat. Open 8.30 to 5. Huh. Sandy on inside. Kiso founded. No toilet. Oh, there is a toilet. What do you know? Women and men's. Oh, there is a flooding. Is this flooding? I'll jiggle it. Oh, it's floating forever. Nope. I'm gonna take a little break now. Look, it worked. It stopped. I fixed it. I fixed it! Okay. What else do we have here? A little history about the place. That's none of it, it's in English. And I'm lazy to read right now. I can read, but actually reading that kind of stuff is the hardest because it's all historical words <laughs> and proper nouns and stuff. Okay. There's some woman hanging out down here. It looked kind of Peruvian. Is she still here? Yeah, she's still there. It's a little girl. Oh. Let me see. Looks like we're heading out to the country here. Um, okay, we're going south to a river. If we turn right somewhere, we'll get to the railway line again. So now we're kind of in the country. Look at this place. Some greenhouses. Okusa Gokokuyama. Not sure. Okay, let's get. Uh, Let's get back to some of those questions. Let me see. The informal word for elbow grease is fag. Does this sentence make sense? You'll have your desk cleaned quickly with some solid fag. What? <laughs> That's a question. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I guess that works. Okay. Um, look a little sign here. Let's go in and check it out. I think the uh, today's walk is more interesting than the questions, maybe. Let me see. Let's just cancel. Okay. Let me see. There's a growing number of incels in Japan. It's, it is really, the, in America, it is really the fault of the man for not having substantial communication skills, or is it when the women finds out they aren't rich, they cease all contact? To me, entitled women force the incel lifestyle on real men. Real men don't get forced into anything. Again, I think this guy, uh, maybe, I don't know, man. Um, I would say to him, I'm, I'm quite happy with women. Uh, well, was. <laughs> Meet you up. And the man just sitting on the tummy mat in there. Drinking some tea. Let's see what's going on over here. Oh, keeps the keeps the wind from coming in. That's a good idea. 
Huh. Interesting. Is this working? Yeah. All right. You'll get the get the shoes. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I, I'm not really uh, invested in this whole incel conversation. Uh, I do think it's fucked up when guys who don't get laid go out and kill people, like have happened on a few occasions. But I don't really know what even to say about that sentence. Uh, What's the question? It's not even a question. Is it really the fault of the man for not having substantial communication skills? Well, here's the thing. If you know how somebody is and you know how to communicate with them and you fail, even though you know how to do it, then it is your fault. If you have no idea how to communicate with someone and you fail, well, then it's not your fault. But if you tried, then you tried. And it's not that hard to try. All you have to do is talk. I mean, it's not that hard. <laughs> This looks really pretty too. Look at that. Beautiful flowers. And a big row going up to another small kind of shrine maybe. It almost looks like a proper house though. Nope, well, there you go. It's parking. Parking for the shrine. Hmm. You can see over there. Um. I like that sound, creaking, creaking sound. I wouldn't mind living out here in the country like this. I think Yoko wouldn't like it. She prefers a small city. Huh. Another kind of shrine. Oh, it just announced that I've arrived. There must be a sensor there. Look, there's a faucet. Interesting. Very nice little Zen garden. Well, not exactly, but Zenish. Oh, there's a sensor there. There's some tanu. There's inoshishis or tanuki. Oh, I think those are tanuki. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, yeah. I think don't uh, obsess too much on that kind of stuff. I'm I'm a traditional man which means I'm automatically a little bit sexist, but I'm trying to grow out of that a little bit. But, okay, I, I do agree that sometimes women go overboard with this sexism stuff. The whole Me Too movement is a little bit overboard. Uh, in some case, a little bit sometimes. Like what happened to John Lasseter. <clears throat> um, they, uh, I think they, kind of exaggerated but there or the other guy what's the guy who does the uh, public radio that guy I think they gave him too much shit for not that much he didn't really do that much anyway next next question is just a minute please this thing keeps scrolling up here did you know Kiari Pamu Pamu mouths her words on stage uh, I did not know that <laughs> Uh, I'm not a big fan. I'm not against her. I think she's some of her videos are amazing. I'm not a big music fan of hers or any fan, but um, certainly never bought anything. Who's a bigger twat in real life, Tokyo Sam or Unrested? Oh, here's the thing they're both a lot of fun in real life. Sam is more embarrassing because he does stuff they really, you know, really shouldn't. I think, he, I remember him changing his socks in a convenience store once or something. Or right outside of it in the hallway. Like, he was pretty, well, I remember what he was doing was pretty gross. But, <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm sure if, you get, if, you're if you're drunk, you automatically become more prone to twattish behavior. Um, unrested has always been a gentleman in real life. Do em number 12, do employees you hire have to sign a contract? Of course. Well, not if it's part-time. If it's part-time, we don't really worry about it too much. Hmm. Uh, number 13, what's your opinion of Japanese visual K-Vans? Not interested because it's not musically impressive. 
I like Visual K visually, but I'm not interested in the music, so that's not enough for me to go out of my way to watch them. I've never been to a show. I think David Bowie had both, right? He was a good musician, and he, was, he you know, he did a lot of the Visual K stuff. Let's see. How many, number 14, how many shots of whiskey can you take before you stop? I mean, stop, like, moving? <laughs> I will assume that means how many shots of whiskey can I take before I can't take any more. I once did 15 shots of tequila and ended up just walking into my house and falling asleep in the Genkan in the entranceway, waking up the next morning. Pretty bad. Uh, so I can, you know, I would say that that's when I was younger. So I would say probably these days, six, six before I want to stop, you know, probably. Maybe not. I could probably drink a whole half bottle, regular size bottle. Let me see. Number 15, what types of Japanese ale are award winning? I don't know. You have to Google that stuff. I'm, recently, though, I'm not that into, oh, tour bus. Oh, another part of the shrine there. Recently, I'm not that into beer. Uh, I know ale is not beer, but similar. I'm into the heavy stuff. I prefer the strong zeros have quite a bit of kick and aren't as heavy. They don't feel so heavy. And uh, whiskey and wine, I prefer. It's plastic. <laughs> Hello. Oh wow, look at that. There's a little, a little st st stool there. You can sit there. Look at the art back there. Wow. That's interesting. Incense there. It's a little... Here's another one. There's a few of these. I wonder why so many in one closed area. Oh, there's a light up there for so when people visit at night. This little temple is uh, wired for electricity. Maybe even free Wi-Fi. Hmm. I'm just joking about that, by the way. Okay. Should do another one. All right. We're not going to go up there today. Maybe we'll come back some other time. I'm already way behind schedule. We're at train tracks again. And let me see which way we're headed. Oh, oh good. Oh, we're very near the station. So I think if we walk down this way, we'll find the station. Cool. And we're just about wrapping up these questions. Next question. What are your flaws and perfections? My flaws is I dwell too much on what people owe me. When I do people a lot of favors and I guess I'm disappointed with life because I, I help, I feel like I help a lot of people and I don't feel like many people return the favor. Uh, and I also, you know, I should be more grateful when they do. And maybe I, I think I am, but maybe I could be more grateful too. Uh, I lose my temper with my kids too often. And of course, maybe everybody does, but that's something I, I'm trying to get better at. I don't think I'm terrible, but still. My, um, the way my mom, I guess, raised me was uh, pulling my ears and hair and slapped me upside the head. And, and uh, I don't do that, but I, I occasionally I've raised my hand and what pulled my son's hair a little bit. So that's not good. This is a classroom of some sort. I don't know what. This is Mi Miwa, maybe? An instrument? Yeah, an instrument. Oh. Nice yard. Okay, it's interesting. Um, 
I tend to not finish things. Like I'll start something and never finish it. Like I, I'll film all, like all the videos that I make that I never get finished. That's a flaw. Perfection? No, I don't think I'm much. I'm. I think I'm good at making people that don't know me very well happy. <laughs> and I think I'm not good at making the people closest to me happy or as happy as I wish I could. So I'm often disappointed in myself that I can't. Uh, you know, it's still young. They're still young, my kids, but I guess I'm talking mostly about my kids. Mama guy, they prefer their mom. I'm not jealous, but I just wish they'd. They wouldn't mind me, you know. They don't have to prefer me, but sometimes I feel like they mind me. Well, it's a nice little yard. So we've got to find a way to the train station. Let me see. Number 17, would you put barbecue sauce on horse meat? No. You lose the taste that way. Horse meat is really good, by the way. I've had no horse meat with uh, Tomoko and Kibi in a video, and it was really good. Um, I like to have some, again, see, this is a weird wood. You don't really see this color wood very often. Huh. Uh, this is what you usually see. Okay, let me see what else. Number 18. Would you eat Goya with natto? Yeah, I do anything with natto. Well, it looks like a mess. It looks like it's an abandoned place. Oh, tanuki. Yeah, the house. Yeah. used to have a, look, you can see the, the open wall there, right in the middle of the screen. Looks like it's just abandoned. It's a nice neighborhood. Number 19. This is a bad one. This person says, I hate Koreans, which I understand are quite common sight, which I, are, which I understand are quite common in Japan. I've had too many negative interactions with them. It's got to the point where the next time they say something, I'll punch their fucking head off. Can you relate? No, I cannot. Uh, one of my best friends in Japanese school was Korean, and she and I were the only people in the class who were not Chinese. <laughs> um, I've, I've had no real negative interactions with Koreans, I, I have to say. So, where the hell the train station? Maybe go up here and take a left. Yeah, um, you know what? I, I have seen Koreans be impolite in Hawaii, in Guam, and Chinese too. But I think that's not because they're Koreans. I think it's because they're tourists. And I think sometimes people leave their manners at home. So no, I've had a lot of good experiences. I've gone to uh, Korean restaurants, and you know, the owner's Korean, and everyone's really, really nice. So, not really. Uh, again, you know what this might be? You might have uh, met a certain type of certain Koreans that were rude and that's what sticks in your head but overall my my general I wouldn't generalize against Koreans how about that and I do generalize <laughs> against many people so I mean I can give some generalities that are not fair for example a lot of the Filipinos and um, a lot of Filipino girls wear a lot of makeup and Brazilian girls also wear kind of uh, overly sexualized clothes sometimes and a lot of Thai girls are here in the Mizushobai industry, which means they, they're here serving men at night, you know. Those are generalities, that's not fair. Um, a lot of Nepalese are work in uh, convenience stores. <laughs> Again, not fair, but... Oh, it's, that's the nice flowers. But um, Koreans, not especially. They're really good at Japanese. And they're often, I think, wrongly, uh, they suffer a lot of racism in Japan that they don't deserve, a lot of them. I know, I've known a lot of nice Koreans, and you gotta be careful in Japan, because you never know who's Korean. Um, I was just looking up, well, the camera cut off, I don't know when and where, so I'll have to maybe uh, wrap this up. Um, I think, well, let's just summarize the last two. <gasps> Shit, okay, no problem, no problem. Um, the last two questions, last three questions, we'll go back just in case, just because I missed it. Number 18 was, would you eat noya, goya with natto? I'll eat anything with natto. Would you, oh, number 17, would you put barbecue sauce on horse meat? No, because then you lose the, you lose the flavor. And I like horse meat, it tastes good. Uh, oh, and liquor store. Is it open? Let's see. Um, would you eat goya with natto? 
yeah, I would eat anything with natto. Uh, pretty much. Um, and then number 19 is about Koreans. He hates Koreans. Don't, don't you think? Um, can you relate to the fact that he hates Koreans? I said no. And he's, uh, he generalizes uh, his um, experience with Koreans. Basically, I've had really good experience with Koreans. Um, I know they suffer a lot of racism here in Japan. Some of them, most of them don't deserve it at all. And the other thing about Koreans is you don't know who is Koreans. So you have to be really careful. A lot of in gener generalities, a lot of the pachinko parlors are uh, owned and operated by Koreans. But um, a lot of them, a lot of Koreans just do ordinary things in, ordinary, in your ordinary life. And you wouldn't even know. Uh, my students have been Korean, I didn't even know. And you got to be careful because you never know who you could insult. Um, but, uh, but I will say a lot of Japanese have these general um, racist or I said nationalist um, preju prejudices against Koreans. And if you go on the internet, you'll notice that if some Japanese person does something bad in the news, there'll be some commenter saying he must have been Korean. So that sucks. Uh, number 20. There's a question about North Korea, and do you think he's a psychopath and the guy killed his aunt, uncle, and blah, blah. Um, and he says, you know, South Korea is not much better. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's not really a question. Yeah, those are, that's bad. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> you shouldn't kill people, especially your family. What are you going to do? Uh, there are, ironically, or not ironically, interestingly enough, there are, actually are Korean schools here with a lot of North Koreans people who have come to Japan and fled, fled North Korea and they're here and they basically stick together they have their own schools and stuff and I, I don't think that's a good idea I think they should become Japanese or try to integrate into the into society a bit more but there's a trick bicycle nice anyway that's all let's see if I can get a drink is this open no it's closed oh, too bad could have gotten a drink oh well maybe over there happening over there we'll end today's uh, video with that anyway I hope you found this town interesting it's by the beach a little bit and thanks for joining me always oh no this is an electronic store <laughs> so no no alcohol here okay oh well it's a nice looking little liquor store there oh they have a beer machine oh no just coffee oh well Let's get to the station. I believe it's right around here. We will ask this old woman here. I think it's just up here on the left. Maybe we'll have a convenience store there. Irakoya, what is that? Konnichiwa. Eki te masugu desu ne. Eki. Eki. Hi. 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 One thing I like about this whole neighborhood is that I didn't see any convenience stores at all. <laughs> there are, I mean, I wanted one, but I'm glad there weren't any. It's a nice, nice little street. It would have been nice to get a drink, but... Um, you know, it's nice not to have the neighborhood cluttered with convenience stores, left and right. What's this? A little restaurant? Yeah, a little coffee shop. Clothes store, coffee shop, another electronic store. And the station should be right there. We're gonna go around this way. Google Street View Trusted? What is this? Digital Joho Sogo Sabas. Oh. Well that's the future, right? Offering Google stuff, web stuff. Chirashi, they make little pamphlets and flyers too. Shoe, school shoes and bags. It's a real neighborhood. 
All right, I guess that's all I got for you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I welcome all of your opinions and... Uh, here's another little old woman with her cart. You see a lot of those. Yeah, oh, there's some boats over here. Look at that. So over here we have a little river. And some boats. And over there some more boats. It's nice. It's okay. Maybe we should go into the station too. Who knows? Until the next one. Bye everybody. Be sure to give me a thumbs up on this video, man. Ha <laughs> ha